Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be grooming this miniature poodle. She has been bathed and blow dried. I start by shaving her face. I am using a number 15 blade. I gently hold her face so that I don't accidentally clip her tongue as sometimes they lick their lips. I can feel if she's going to do that and if she is I back away. I'm going slow as she is a newer dog to me. I've groomed her once or twice and she's a rescue dog. So I want to be very gentle not to frighten her. I go down her throat and make, usually I make a, a U shape or a V shape. In this case I'm making a U shape. And I clip everything off on her nose, her cheeks, right to her ears, and I clip all the hair off in front of her ears. And I gotta get all that hair that's in her flu. The, the skin there is like curled up, so you gotta stretch it so that you can get all the hairs in there, right there in that spot clip around her nostrils and above her nose. And I just go over anything that I've missed. Go against the grain, with the grain. I like to make it nice and smooth. And here I'm going right to the ear taking all that hair off in front of the ear. I'm just going over some areas that there's still a little bit of hair. Check in in every spot and now she is done. Her face is nice and clean. Now I'll go on to the feet and again I am using a 15 blade this clipper is the Wall Bravora. It has a adjustable blade on it that can adjust from a uh, 10 blade to a 40 blade. And I'm using a 15. She's a light colored poodle and I've just groomed her a few times so I don't want to go too close. So I find a 15 is um, a good length and I just use my fingers to grab all those hairs that are really close to her nails. Sometimes what I do is I use the 40 blade to go around the nails but Sometimes it's a little bit quicker just to do this. I don't want to use a 40 because I'm not sure how her skin will react. And then I do the bottom of her foot. She's got a little bit red skin so I have to be very careful. She's licking her feet. And she had a couple knots in there so it's best to get them out. Now I'm going on to her body. And here I'm using a number two comb attachment. I'm using my cordless a KM wall or wall KM cordless. I love this clipper. And if the power runs out, I can plug it in and use it as a corded clipper or just plug it in to charge. Um, it's great that the cord isn't in the way. I use um, both those clippers every day. But this is a number two attachment and the blade is a number 30. So I just go down her back, start from like behind the head and go down toward the tail, go down the sides here. Her hair is really nice, it comes out like really plush. She's a really good dog, she's just standing there. She's a little bit shy, she hasn't met very many people because apparently she was used for breeding. But she seems okay. She's she's okay with the grooming. And I noticed if I talked to her, she kind of started to want to lay down and all that. So I tried to, you know, just groom her and talk to her at the end. 
Then I go down her legs, taking everything off. Nothing is going to be left on there. Just basically one length all over. Getting underneath her legs. And on our rump area. Her groin has been done with a number 10. And now on to the front legs. The same blade and number two. I just go straight down. She's really good. Look at her just standing there. She's a little nervous, but she's she's great. Get under those armpits and under the belly. When I go under the belly, I trim from the groin toward the chest. Then I just hold her ear out of the way and I clip down the sides of her neck and under her chest. Her neck is going to be the same length as her body. And now I got all that done. I'm going to clip down her legs and trim the cuffs. Here I'm using my scissors. Sometimes I use a number 40 blade and I trim around that. I do have a video on that. But I wanted to use my scissors. I have the Kenshi Love Shears. I love I love them. I love the Love Shears. Um, they're a great, a great pair of shears. And here I'm just trimming off some hairs that I see that are sticking up. And then I'll go on to the other leg and I'll do all four legs the same way. Just all the cuffs. This is called the cuffs. Just trim them straight around. Look how good she's being. She's a beautiful girl. Girl, look at her. She's so cute. And here I'm just trimming up the leg and checking the armpits. It's best to scissor after you've used a comb attachment as sometimes there are little hairs that are missed. The comb attachment doesn't get every hair, especially on the legs. You want that to look nice and even. And now she has lied down. So um, that's fine. I can do her top knot this way. And again, I'm using my Kenshi Love Shears and I'm just trimming around her eyes and around the ears. The top knot can take a while to achieve, but you can just keep trimming and trimming until you get to where you want. I like to trim above the eyes first and, and see what I'm looking at. And yeah, I do comb with my scissors. Did you see that? <laughs> I combed with my scissors. And I'm just going round and round and round. So now I just got to see, um, just keep combing and scissoring until I get the nice rounded top knot. Then I'll comb everything forward. And I'll trim anything hanging over her eyes. And now I got out my curves. 
Curves are great for trimming anything that's curvy, such as a top knot or tails or curving around the ears. Anywhere there's a curve, you can use your curved shears. Uh, these ones are nice. Curves come in different um, sizes, different lengths. They come in smaller sizes for the little tiny poodles. They're great if you're doing round faces. I have different uh, styles of curves and there's different um, like the sizes of the curves. Some are curved extremely, some are curved just a little bit. So it's best to have a few of them in your grooming equipment. And here I'm just going around and around and around to see what looks good on her and to make sure I have it even. I just trimmed the bottom of her ears, just taking a little bit off, not too short. Usually I use my curved shears, but I use my straight shears here. But curved shears are nice if you curve, you want the ear to be rounded. Oh, there I go. There's my curved shears. <laughs> she has beautiful thick ears. Right now I go on to the tail. I shave the tail base with a number 10. I don't like to go too close here as the dog will go home and start dragging its behind all over the carpet so they get itchy. And I gently go around the rectum, not too close again because uh, it could cause problems. I like to be safe than sorry. Don't want to get a phone call and say, what to do to my dog? And now I just trim her tail. It's nice and thick. I trim the tip first. Then I comb everything out and then I'll just go around and around and around until I achieve the desired look. And lots of combing, lots of checking. There, it looks okay. Now she's going to get a pretty bow for the pretty girl. Just to go over what I've done, I used the number 2 on her body and legs, a 15 on the face, the feet, and number 10 on the tail base. I scissored her head, her ears, and her tail. Click on the video on the screen for more poodle grooming videos. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any of my future videos.